if you're struggling with acne, here is a treatment that you might want to know. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Chung. I'm Dr. Lu. I'm Dr. Chai. So today we're going to talk about acne. My first question is, how does acne occur? So acne occurs when there's excess oil production in our skin, which then combines with dead skin cells to clog hair follicles. And these blockages will promote bacterial overgrowth, like the C acne, which then leads to inflammation and results in acne and comedons. So currently, how do we treat acne? Yeah, there are many ways that we treat, but it actually depends on the severity. So if let's say the patient, the acne is very mild, we can always use topical, even home care product that contains salicylic acid, tea tree. And uh, topical medication that we can use uh, sometimes uh, we can use like topical retinoid, it helps as well, and also castrotron as well. So other treatment that we can do in clinic, um, uh, the treatment include uh, salicylic acid uh, chemical pill and also microdermabrasion. All this can actually remove the dead skin and help to reduce the oil production. And of course, uh, we, we also can do laser to actually reduce the sebum production and also the complication as well. Yeah, so actually the topical retinoids has come a long way. Uh, from first generation, second generation, third generation, and now the fourth generation of topical retinoids that we know. And it has a lot of function into it, but mainly it helps to reduce inflammation also and prevention of acne. I always say that this topicals is not an ad hoc treatment. That means it's not like, oh, I have acne today and then I apply, the next day it's going to disappear. No, it won't. Uh, but it's some, it will have effect over long term. Let's say if you use after one month, two months, you'll see the effect. So it's more importantly to control the acne and also to prevent the acne recurrence. Whereas the topical plascoterone that you mentioned, it actually competes with the testosterone in your skin. You know, all of us have testosterone on our skin. It's just the amount of testosterone. Some people have more testosterone in their skin. So testosterone, effect of testosterone on your skin is actually it causes more inflammation. It causes more oiliness on your skin. So that molecule actually competes with the testosterone to bind to the receptor. And as a result, there's no testosterone effect less inflammation, less oiliness to the skin. So for cases that are more severe or moderate to severe, we can also opt for oral treatment like antibiotic or isotretinoin. So, um, but uh, all these medications sometimes come with a side effect like um, isotretinoin is very dry and then a pregnant lady cannot take it. So uh, what other options that we have actually? There is a laser by the name of Aviclear and we are the first in Malaysia to own this laser machine at the moment. So how does this machine works? You know, the way we uh, name laser machine, right, is based on the wavelength, right? Because like, for example, let's say when I say uh, 1064 nanometer laser, that wavelength targets the pigment, whereas the 500 nanometer targets the vessels, the red blood cells, anything that is red. You know. So in this case, it's a 1726 nanometer lasers. The target is the oil gland. In medical term, we call it sebaceous gland. So it's the oil gland that's targeted. So when you target the oil gland, because we know oil gland, like Chai mentioned just now, plays a Im very important role in the pathogenesis of acne, in the cause, causes, the, it's the main cause of acne, the oil gland. So when you shrink the oil gland, acne improves. In fact, they did a big study, you know, 104 patients that went through this procedure once a month for three times and they stopped the lasers. At one year, they found that 91% of the patients had at least more than 50% improvement in terms of their acne. So it's something that have long-lasting effect. So who are the suitable candidates for this laser? Generally, we don't do lasers on pregnant ladies. But otherwise, anyone who has acne, whether you know, in their teenage years or whether elderly, they can do this procedure. I think it's also suitable for those who are trying to conceive because retinoids cannot be used on pregnant ladies and those who are trying to conceive. And also for those who are looking for a drug-free alternative. Correct. And also a deal for all skin types, including darker skin type, because it doesn't target melanin, thus it reduces the risk of hyperpigmentations. Yeah, very good, because that's why we call it all these lasers are very selective. You know, they only select Actively targets the individual chromophores, we call it. Right? Uh, and therefore, there's no damage to other surrounding cells. So, um, patients always, uh, when you uh, introduce them to this new laser, right? They always ask, is this safe? Uh, what do we expect from this laser? So, on the day of the procedure, what we do is we will clean the face. Why do we need to clean the face in particular? It's because, remember, the target is the oil. And our skin is oily. So if we don't clean it properly, 
basically the surface of the skin is absorbing the laser and causing the energy, so uh, the heat, the discomfort on the surface of the skin. But once you clean it, we call it degrease it, remove all the grease, then the target is straight to the oil gland, which is in the middle layer of the skin. And you don't need a numbing cream for this procedure. Unlike certain lasers where we need to put numbing cream. Right? So the, the tip of the laser machine, the handheld, uh, there, there's a handpiece there. There's a cold handpiece there, which we cool it down first. But once we shoot the energy of the laser, there'll be some heat there. And then we quickly cool it back down again. Right? So therefore, the patient won't feel the, the hot sensation, the pain because of that, because of the procedure. Of course, but there will, be some, there will be some areas where the patient can still feel a bit of pain there. But it's always bearable. Does it have any downtime? So the good thing also about this laser is there's no downtime to this treatment. Patient can immediately go back to their daily activities of daily living. Will there be any flare-up after the procedure? It is possible because I always say, imagine you are heating up the oil gland. So we know with every heat, there is inflammation. When there's inflammation, it will look as if the acne has gotten worse, especially in the first two weeks. But this effect only lasts for a month. Patient will need to do this treatment once a month for three times. And of course, the results are not immediate. You only expect to see the results after three months. If you're looking for a long-term control of your acne, talk to us to see whether Aviclear is a suitable solution for you. <laughs>